This time I have a whole army. Hello and welcome to a Smurp video and today I'm just having a quick final glance at the Apocalypse Wave. So here they are close up. There's the Builder figure. And here are, I guess, not the villains, but kind of, you know, in fact, most of these are kind of heroes now. So first up is Sabretooth, and pretty much this is it. You don't get any accessories with him. And there's the back. Pretty straightforward. Next up is the Gladiator. Is he improved more than the San Diego Comic Con? I'll let you decide. I do admire the yellow colour used on him though. Very nice cape as well. But once again, no accessories with this. Next picker. up is Magneto. And he comes in this fine outfit. He comes with these kind of purple magnetic hands. He has a fabulous head scope. And he has a removable cape as well. Which looks damn fine on the back. And I could really see something like this going on um, a figure like Cortez if they ever did that. In terms of accessories, he comes with two closed hands, some magnetic um, stuff, <laughs> and then he has this um, lovely Eric head sculpt, which um, I was very disappointed didn't work on the other Magneto because that's the Magneto that I probably would have wanted this head sculpt on. We then have this fantastically beautiful wolverine probably the best wolverine i have seen over the years and it's absolutely stunning and um, the only problem with mine is i've got a few minor paint issues which which isn't a big deal but um it it does bug me so i will probably try and find another wolverine at some point in terms of accessories he does come with two fist hands which is um always handy if you're you're trying to make a scene or recreate something Next up is Psylocke, one of my favourites. Um, there is an alternative Psylocke with black hair out there, um, probably rarer than this one. And she comes with a Psy knife, butterfly effect, face sculpt, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. And then she has a sword, which has um, this little bit that pops off as well. So she comes with lots of little accessories, which I really dig. And the figure is very, very nice compared to the last 90s Psylocke we had. Then we have the mighty multiple man who looks absolutely once again a really top dollar figure with a nice paint job and he has a fantastic coat which um, I'm kind of gutted isn't removed. Well it is removable but it's not going to do you much good. Um, in terms of accessories he comes with two different heads and there's head number one and there is head number two. And then we have Storm, and she comes with this lovely electrical um, lightning effect. She is probably the best figure out of this line. She has this really cool jacket, which you can remove. And she is certainly showing some certain oh, punkness going on. And when you put them all together, they make this beast, the Builder Figure Apocalypse, which is very, very nice. Very, very cool. That's always happening in my videos. I really should be more careful. So all in all, this is a very solid wave with some really solid characters. And a fantastic builder figure and definitely worth getting if you can get them all. Um, I'd also suggest if you get some more uh, multiple men, do it because then you can make a small little multiple man army. Uh, thank you for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Smurd P. Like, comment, subscribe. Take care and embrace the geekiness. Goodbye.